All right, Deadheads, new season, new place for the Anfield app. We are in the church at Anfield. Liverpool have just drawn 1-1 one, one with Athletic Bilbao. Uh, I've got Damien, I've got Joel, and I'm Gareth Roberts, as usual. Um, I'm not going to start it with a get-in after a 1-1 one, one draw at home in a friendly. But, Damien, there's loads to be... There's actually loads to be oh, saying. Oh, get in about, isn't there? Here I am. Here I am. We're in the pub. We're in the pub. We're in the pub. We've been the match. We can have a pint. Yeah. It's just fucking brilliant to be back. First things it. first, yeah. I mean, here I am with, with, with yourselves. Here it was there, Paul over there. The lads behind there from the Stanley. It's absolutely fantastic to be back with everybody. That's the positive vibe, isn't it? You know, and I've never stayed to the end of a pre-season friendly in my life, but I did it today. It was marvellous, just great to, great to be here, great to see everyone enjoying themselves, great to see all those youngsters, yeah. that's the big thing for me. Yeah. That was like a real standout, you know, was it going up there, I know we're going to probably talk about the kickoff being late, um, understandably with ticket issues and that, yeah. um, but it's just great to be with everybody, great to see Liverpool playing, I know the game's overshadowed by the Robertson injury, I know the fact that um, Virgil's got an hour in, it's good news for Liverpool on the other side of things. Good things in the first half with Trent and Sadio. Game fell a bit flat. But typical pre-season, just like yeah. getting the hours in the bank, but also getting the lads back together, getting the, you know, all the Reds back together, all those fans. Marvellous to be here. Marvellous yeah. to be here. Lovely summing up from Damien. Um, I think we have got to start though, Joe, yeah. we, with the, the getting in there thing. Uh, we knew it was a new system. Liverpool have done the best to communicate that it's a new system and cater for everyone and all that. I think most of us thought there's every chance though this could be a bit of a fucking, you know, a bit of a mess, a bit of a problem. It turned out that way. Um, I mean, I don't know what you, your two experiences were, but it took me about 40, 45 minutes to get in, queuing up. Uh, obviously, they delayed the kick-off till quarter past four and then half four. Um, it's up to Liverpool now to communicate what went wrong and what was that what, what that was all about but there's one thing for sure it should not be in any way any fingers pointed at the fans it's the club that's introduced a new system you had Phil Dutton who's the head of the ticket and in the echo the other day saying they're more than aware of what time people turn up and, and what their habits are so anything that went wrong today well it's that system it's that technology and it's the club it's not us yeah well it was frustrating I mean I, I sensed a little bit of foreboding and not in a negative way I just thought look it's a new system. It's gonna. There's going. There's going to be teething problems. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't anticipate how bad the teething problems would be. Now I was in. I was in the lower Kemlin, and I'd said to me dad, me and my brother-in-law, like we're gonna. No, I think we've got to get there early. So like, I've come from the south end of the city, and we parked up with me and Andy and Kenny. Walked from Kenny to the grounds. We were we were by home base at about twenty past three, twenty five past three, waiting for an uncle of mine, and then. Already, I could see the cues from the cop, and then I was thinking, God, oh, what's it going to be like in the Kremlin? So I, I, I was a bit hurriedly like saying to him, Come on, let's get in. So we got there, and I'd say, I'd say I was queuing for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get in, which, you know, compared to other people's experiences, wasn't as bad. It was annoying, and not especially when you've got a five year old nephew with you who's just running yeah. now, and you're obviously you're trying to keep his eye on him. So we got in, and yeah, it was, it was annoying, but as I say, I thought it was going to happen. I just didn't think of how bad it was going to be. And I think it's up, yeah, you're right. I think it's up to the club to come out and just say, listen, this is what's happened. Obviously, we apologise to the supporters first and foremost. This is what happens, or, you know, because the, the problems we had, I printed our tickets out. And on one of them, I think it's on my dad's ticket, he had to put it in a couple of times to scan it because, like, the yeah. key, it wasn't needing the QR code. So that was a bit annoying. And then, obviously, getting a five year old through a big. Saying that was a bit of a no, obviously a pain because he's got to go through on his own and he's a bit, you know, he's three at the best of times. But as I say, it happens. I hope it doesn't happen again tomorrow night. And, and if anyone's going tomorrow night, all I'd say to them is just get here early. Get in here. You know, make them make an, make an evening of it. You know, come for your tea rounds here, get a chippy, get, get a beer, whatever. Come that, come you, here early. You can get a beer in the ground now as well, yeah. which you couldn't in some of the other games. Yeah, get a beer in the ground. And I think, I think maybe that was why. On to another issue why there was a lot of no there's no by the time at half time there's no food left or even 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 for kick off we target me my nephew a hot dog and come get one for the no, money so i'd just like to say today's pre-season game wasn't just a pre-season game for the, the staff and the players but it was also for the ticket system and the stewards the stewards were fantastic by the way yeah, yeah, so yeah. a man and a woman they were all patient and everything but it was apparent to me as an experienced match goer that i was in queues with people who weren't used to going the match and so they were a bit 
they didn't quite have the ticket ready or I mean nothing bad, nothing you know, nothing you know what I mean. But if for example it was a Premier League game where the fans are very used to being at the matches, it would be very slick, you know, with the eight week ticket, bang, you know, trade in, we know what time it is, we know whatever. So it's always gonna slow up a little bit. Hello Reds, thanks for watching that taster of the post-match pints. If you want to watch the rest of that video, really easy to watch it right here on YouTube. Just click the join button below, that activates the membership. It gives you access to the Amphior Apps premium videos, which includes the post-match pint, but also reviews, previews, exclusive interviews, and it means you can follow us, follow them from here, the heart of Liverpool.